What happened to warrant that midnight call was that a decision was made with limited time and resources. It's a strain on just about everybody. So every time we are in the field and we're facing different factors and we're trying to bring the most accurate understanding of what we're doing in the field, having the right tool at the right time, that is key. Over the last few years, field insulation testing has become more advanced but at the same time easier to use. In the coming years, field insulation testing will become more advanced but at the same time it will become easier to make accurate insulation assessments. It's difficult to draw conclusions from line frequency power factor testing because even on a 50-year-old transformer like we have here, results at line frequency may appear good when in fact there is moisture or oil conductivity happening within the transformer. The results at line frequency do not change until the problem is quite severe. In the old days, we looked at something called trending because having a value today was really not of any good unless you could compare it to what the value was uh, a year ago, five years ago. Now we are able to see exactly what one hertz can provide to validate if a 60 hertz number is good, it's average, or it's bad. If there is change, we want to observe the change or act on the change. So if the change is significant, we need to act on it. The difference between 1 hertz power factor and 50-60 hertz power factor is that many insulation systems deteriorate, which changes the power factor more definite at 1 hertz. The best thing about 1 hertz is that it can be performed with the same instrument that you use to do your line frequency power factor testing today. The same connections, the same equipment, and software that's pre-configured to do the testing and provide you analysis on the spot. When we go to 1 hertz, that effect of one part of the insulation, the capacitive portion is reduced and now we see more clearly the parts of the insulation which are critical for the integrity of insulation. One Hertz has opened a new spectrum, a new view, a more sensitive view to look at this and be more accurate on our decisions. One Hertz Power Factor has improved my understanding of high voltage asset health by giving me a reliable indicator in the field without the need for trending. Trending can still be used and if you have the data it's great, but if you don't have access or you don't have those engineers who can understand those minute changes that happen at line frequency and what they may mean, One Hertz allows you to make an informed decision on the spot so that way you can have an improved maintenance plan. Well, if you cannot depend and trust the result, then really you're putting jeopardy in the way of your whole electrical system. This has been the whole point for us of One Hertz, is that we now can see things we just didn't see before. For the testing specialists in the field, One Hertz power factor means that everything that you have done to date has been validated, has been certified. You can go back home with peace of mind, with reliable results and confidence that everything done today does not have to be repeated tomorrow. When you can make better informed decisions about high voltage asset health, it results in a better network at a lower cost. This is our contribution to a better world.